what Rico Strong had said about you. <laughs> he said, I went back no, to the okay. interview, okay. and his quote was basically like, well, I wasn't out there sh- uh, twerking with my booty in the air like uh, and, like you. And, and what you said, right? You said you said you was a stripper. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> okay. So let me say this bitch said, ass motherfucker. <laughs> how you not twerking? You showed up with a thong on, with brown hazel contacts in your eyes, with your hair um, dyed purple or some crazy shit. Right, dancing at the right track. The right track, shout out to the right track. Shout out to it's closed down. Now. <laughs> I had a lot of people tell me about it. Yeah. On the, the right side. track. The right track is a popular. Uh, this is Adam 12's interview with Nate uh, Turner. Nate. Nat, is it Nat Turner or Nate Turner? It's Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. I didn't realize his last name was Turn Her. Like Turn Her. He's an adult star. He's a black adult star. If y'all don't know who uh, Nat Turner is, Turn Her is. Uh, Cool play on words for an adult star name, but they're talking about Rico Strong. This is an interview he did with Adam Tweeney, too. Hit that thumbs up button, guys, and support the channel. Appreciate it. Side of the right. Oh, that's sad. Strip, male you strip see, club in Compton. No, it was popping. It was popping. Yep. It, right. it, it used to be mad bitches going, I'm going to the right track. I mean, I've never been there, but I know a lot of women used to always talk about going to the right track. As he was, he's getting ready to get into, it's a, it's a strip club in L.A., though. I'm like, yeah, what the f***? And I never knew, because, you know, Jada Fire, mm. oh, she used to spend all her porno money at the right track. Really? Oh, my, oh my oh Jada my Fire was a big right track fanatic. Wow. She loved her male strippers or whatever the case may wow. be. Well, I, I ain't Amazing. never been in there. I don't. But it, you mean I always crew. heard, heard, heard. So when I was living in Inglewood, you know, I'm living in the hood. She was up in there recruiting. That's what she was in there doing, Jada Fire. I circled one day, I'm like, somebody was like, yo, that was that was the right track right there. Mm. I was like, oh, shit, that's where it was? Mm. By then, it was all closed down, boarded up, bum sleeping out in front of it. Mm. But, yeah, I've never been inside. They didn't make it through the uh, pandemic. They ended up shutting out right after the pandemic. <clears throat> I know a lady who's friends with the owners or owner. Yeah, they ended up, they couldn't make it after the pandemic. The joint, but Maybe it, I'll buy it, it was that back. Huh? I'll buy it and bring it back. I don't see why oh, not. Shit. Go, go <laughs> get one one of the top male shakers. And, Imagine and, me and, having to like had them control know. a whole little army of male strippers. I don't, I don't <laughs> think I'm ready for that. I don't know. <laughs> I want no part of it. Yeah, all right. That should sound Stay like that. Stay far away. All right, but so what is oh. what was Rico Strong referencing in that clip? Me doing a solo. Oh. Nah, I just explained to you. 22 DPs right. is my first... 22 scenes the camera the camera is with with a camera at, an up and over position uh-huh. it's up under your, your joint right so what, what do you so now I can get away with my fan base allows me to get away with just doing the solo it's just me mm. I don't know beat off whatever right. take a shot whatever in the OnlyFans <laughs> age every guy does this yeah. I don't know what it's like exactly because I've never seen it of any of the homies but I know they all do it but only certain people can get away with that because you got to have a certain fan base if right. it's going to make you some bread. I honestly think he couldn't get away with that particular act because he's not cool. Like, don't nobody, ain't nobody checking for him like that. Mm, well, he's an so old he school mad. guy, you know. He's, he's, he's a... How the f*** you going to catch a f***ing um, uh, a rape charge on set, bro? Ooh. How you catch a rape charge on a porno set? Bro, he said <laughs> in the clip that he was exonerated based on the nanny cams. How do you catch a... Rape charge on a porno set, bro. <laughs> He's a f- yo, this nigga, bro. Yo, uh, <laughs> that is kind of messed Why up. Why you still living with your mother in Vegas? Oh, I could have been pulled up on him. I felt so disrespected because I wouldn't have said nothing. And then you heart you 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 butt hurt over some shit that was twelve years ago. That clip that because I think you kind of brought it up. Oh, it had went viral and all that. <clears throat> and that's what sparked him <clears throat> to say that. <clears throat> okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I'm saying you still, this was 10 something years ago, bro. But so, wait, okay. For and the, I, like I explained to you earlier, I didn't put that up. Right. But what happened? But wh- how did you get into it with him in the first place? Because we all cool at one point. That's what I'm telling you. Why would he, I didn't get it. Hmm. He probably just seen me a couple months pre- previous to that. Now he know hmm. he could get away with it because I'm not on set no more. Hmm. I'm not around. So now, I go to Vegas, 
He there the, the day I'm not. The days I'm there. At the convention. None of that. He shows up nowhere. I ain't never been. You know, I've been living in L.A. for a long time. I've never been to the AVN Awards they have in Vegas. I want to. I should. I wonder how they're going to have it this year. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. I'm going to go just to see what. I'm, I'm just curious to see what kind of stuff goes. Like, what kind of crazy stuff am I going to see? Am I going to see old school 90s adult stars? I used to, you know. When I was a teenager, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't gonna be no stalker fan or like that, but, just, but it'll probably be trippy, like, oh, they're, they're gonna second, they're gonna peek. I used to, you know, in my room when I was 16, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, hit the thumbs up button, guys. Let's continue on. He was there the day before I got there. I know I documented I was on my way. Well, he didn't want to show up. Mm. I'm gonna yeah. punch him in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, you said it's on site. And listen, it's, and it's not. And it's not, it's not major beef, bro. I don't want to stab him. I don't want to shoot him. I'm not waiting in his bushes for him to come home. It's not that deep. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I could have been pulled up on him. I could have found him. Because I was, I got upset because everybody else is mad. How dare he even say anything? I don't give a f- what you said. Mm. Really? You going to say something about him? Like, really? That's the protection I got. I'm walking down the street one day. A nigga come up to me mad. Like, yo, I don't like what that bitch-ass nigga said. This f*** that nigga. I was like, yo, what are you even talking about? Because I didn't even know what he was talking about. Right. And then I, I let that go. And then uh, my friend from home texts me like, yo, what? You, I, I need to fly out there? F*** that bitch-ass nigga. I'm like, yo, who, who you talking about? Dudes like to try to act like they got your back, but yet they, even though you don't even know the drama, dudes like to, to let you know about somebody who got drama with you. You ever notice that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, hit the thumbs up button. The Rico Strong nigga. So I was like, what? What, what, what happened? Mm. So I, I watched the interview. So I, I'm, I'm watching it. It got to, you know, it was a little while before it got to that. I was about to cut it off because I was like, what are they I talking about? I don't, yeah, I'm not watching yeah. it. He's a fucking lame. That whole shit, I would have kicked him out of my studio with that lame shit he was talking about. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted my waves like Ryan Pumper. <laughs> uh, he keep his dick hard. He do, Like, who does that? <laughs> like, come on, my dude. Like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> so I'm like, yo. Everybody keep coming to me like, yo, fuck that. Yo, I could have had somebody else do so. But like I said, it's not that deep. Like, mm. come on. I'm, I'm a grown man, bro. Like, oh, somebody said something about you. Uh, you going? It, it can't be that deep. Right. But right. he's not going to walk past me. We're not going to be in the same building. He's going to go. He's not going to walk past me and know where we at. And I came to Vegas because that's what I do. Mm. And he lives in Vegas. And I'm there three days. I don't see him. Mm. I'm all in the convention. I'm all outside the convention. I'm at the parties that they having at that event. You see me when I met you. Uh-huh. At there, what was he? He did not show up to none of that. Mm. He lives there. Mm. He knew yeah. I was in town, bro. Um, I swear to you, he knew I was in town. Damn. He's not built like that. Why that. even go there? Don't, don't say nothing. Right. Oh, he did some dumb shit back. And I wouldn't even say nothing. Like, Right, and and and, and you kind of sparked it. You <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what I was doing, but yeah, it's kind of your fault. But it's not your fault. But you brought it up, mm. and and I didn't know he still harbored that. What happened ten some odd years ago, bro? I don't, what happened? I got yeah, nothing I against didn't him. Put it up. I got nothing against him, but it's content over everything. So I'm gonna air this out. Mm-hmm. After what I happened? did that interview with him. We did a, a live stream. We did an episode of, I think it was uh, the other homies at the time, at the end of the day. So I'm doing a podcast with a bunch of other dudes, and he sticks around, and he, like, came on camera. That's the thing, man. I, a lot of times when stuff happens off camera, and then they know what happened, the person who's doing the podcast and the person who's being interviewed on the podcast, they, y- y'all need to start adding some context like, you know, even I, 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 I'll even give Vlad his credit. He gives he'll do a flashback to give context about a situation or a story. So that way it'll, it'll fill you in and keep you up to speed because I'm watching this clip. I have no clue. Something happened between this this particular adult star, um, Nat Turner and uh, Rick Rico Strong. But we don't know what, you know, hopefully he'll he'll talk about it. Adam 22 is it the thumbs up button. Let's continue on. 
camera, he's talking and shit randomly, whatever. This motherfucker got drunk as hell. He was he's drunk a as lino, fuck bro. in that's this a, building. See, that's another thing, bro. <laughs> He, he he's a, he got a gambling problem. He drink too much. He still live with his moms, bro. But so then a girl hit hold on, me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He still live with his moms, bro. I, I don't want to comment on anybody's nah, situation. That. I'm so, commenting yeah. on it. Nat Turner said it. Mm. Now I don't. You know, I'm I'm, I'm Nat, on your platform, oh, Turner, yeah. right? But this this is not. He's not built. His his. <laughs> he he. He shouldn't have said nothing about me at all, bro. He's not built like this that girl. At all. This girl was at the was at the office that day. <laughs> she said that when she left, she saw him pulled over on the side of the road, sleeping in his car wow. on the way back because this motherfucker got too drunk. Oh, so wow. I, I hope he got home safe because. I felt bad when I heard that. And see what I'm saying? That sound like a fair fight to you? Like, <laughs> I feel bad. I'm going to punch him in his mouth and I'm going to feel bad about it. <laughs> It got to be at least three years if I don't see him. <laughs> you think it's going to be a while? <laughs> then I'll be like, all right, all right, cool. You'll get over nah, it. I'll get over, over it. it. Yeah. But within this next two years, yeah. <laughs> if I ever see him anywhere, I, I just want to punch him in the mouth. It's cool. You want to fight? Then I'm going to put him in the Campbell clutch. You right. know what I'm saying? I seen Campbell someone the other day that I had beef with from like five years ago, and I couldn't like, remember why. Right, yeah, all right, fuck it. You know I'm like, he's like, what up? I'm like, I can't remember. I, I remember being mad at you, bro, but I can't remember why. So it is what it is. <laughs> Leave it alone. Um, okay. So that's good to have that out there. All right. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to, you know, and that's when I found you. I was like, yo, he going to be where? I I was with Shorty. I was like, yo, let's pull up on the way he at the strip club. With this girl. <laughs> that was my whole purpose. Right. I swear to you. Because you, you figured Rico might to, stop by my strip club yo, event. Listen, mm. it, it would have been, yeah, it would have been an issue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why didn't he hit me up? Maybe he thought yeah, you were going to pull he up. He knew I was there. Come on, my dude. I'm bro. telling you. I'm keeping it 100 with you. He knew I was there, bro. <laughs> right. God, I shouldn't man. have put on my social media I was on the way. Mm. I should have just pulled up. Mm. Right. But it's cool. Like I said, it's not It's not that deep. Mm. I could have been set that up. Right. I could have had a girl call me, yeah, come do content with me. I, 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 and Oof. then I jump out the bushes and put the nigga in the fucking That's a good hole. point. <laughs> Anybody who does come on. OnlyFans content like, is easy to set up. <laughs> easy to set up, bro. I could have did that. Yeah. Thirsty. She would have did it. We ain't pointing the cameras that way, but... She was ready, like yeah. I was like, "Chill, that's cool. We good." Oh man, about to set them up. That's what happens, man. They will. These women will. Okay, set so you, I had f- these women will set you up, man. They'll be setting you up for a straight hood, dude. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful, man. Women, women. A lot of times, a good man can be prey for the wrong woman because she'll be setting you up for the wrong dude. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we gotta think about this video with that by Nat. Nat Turner. I didn't know his name was Turn Her. That's crazy. Nat Turn Her. Crazy play on words, ain't it? Nat Turn Her. You know? <clears throat> so, not only do we have beef in the, not only do we have beef in the comedy world, but, um, uh, Got beef in the adult. We don't get along in nothing, I guess, huh? We can't even get along doing sex. <laughs> These two adult stars are beefing. What could y'all possibly be beefing about? Y'all own set. Y'all get paid to, to knock chicks off. Like, that should be the perfect job where you don't have no stress. You ain't stressing about nothing. Because you relieve the stress every day. So why are you beefing with another uh, adult star? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all should be the least ones stressing about anything. Because you're relieving all your stress. You know? Anyway. What do you think about this video, man? Leave your, cre- leave your credits. Leave your credits. Leave your credit card number. Leave your telephone. No. Leave your um, comments and hit the thumbs up button. And subscribe to the channel. And support my channel. Support No Jumper as well. Shot Adam 22. Thumbs up button, guys. Take care.